Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a washing machine that I found on the street not very long ago. It's a Privileg. Privileg? A German washing machine, I believe. Let's, um... Turn it around a bit there. It looks like it's been left in a shed or something. It's all dusty and it looks like it was packed up for transport. Bizarrely, the top was put on the wrong way around or it's the wrong side round and it was all taped on. Privileg. Soap drawer looks dusty, hasn't been used in a long time, I'd say. So I picked it up on the street earlier on, and here's a little snap of me finding it. So I'm on my way back from the shops now, on a road that I was on this morning, but just at the end of the road. And here appears to be some kind of a an appliance. With the top sellotaped on, in a bizarre fashion. Looks like a washing machine. What is it? Ooh, a German privileg. I'll nip home and get the van. I think that's the answer for this one. It seems to be suffering from yellowing, like sun bleaching. You can see plastic's a completely different colour. Not that that will affect it working. Let's have a look at the product number. Privi product number is 3680576. Privileg number is 8474. Oh yeah, it looks like it just to say something like that. That one says 5140, I think. Privilege 5140. Don't see that number on it anyway. But we'll get out of the van and have a look at it. So yeah, priv privilege 5140. I'm saying that wrong. It just sounded like privilege. Oh dear, ein andere Wort. It has all the usual features. Ein aus. Ein normale Sonderprogramme. Koch und Buntwasche. Pflegeleicht. Fine Vasha and Vola, Intensive Normal and Kurz, the Vasha Active, Vasser Plus, Spool Stop, uh, Zwei Spiel, and Vor Vasha, it's Start Pause, and then it's got lights to show you where it is through the wash. It's got a PCB in here 95, down to 30, down to cold, usual stuff just in German. You know, it's relatively clean. It looks like the door's been kept closed. When I opened it, it had a bit of a whiff of washing machine coming off it. Uh, the rubber seems okay. It has an interesting thing here. There's a little, I presume it's a little light bulb in there, and there's a little optical pathway here, a little bit of plastic, a little prism. It also has this uh, water recirculation jet, but that's plugged off on the inside. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Down the bottom, it's the lint filter, and I'll make a separate video about that, even though I'm not expecting many people to want to know how to do that on this machine. Follow my channel, but you never know. You never know. Okay, oh, the other thing there, it's got a European style plug, so we're guessing German, and it has a black hose, cold fill only. Quite a lot of damage to the door here, if you've noticed that. It has a, what's that little button for, I wonder? Some kind of a locking thing, I don't know. You can lock that in or out. Don't know what that's for. If anybody knows what that's for, tell me. I'd be interested to know. Metal clip, good quality. It reminds me of the inside of it. Anyways, reminds me of a. Let's get the lid off. It was just held on with tape. At some point. The inside of it reminds me of uh, Tricity Bendix, I think, or what was that? Zanussi, an older Zanussi model, but I'm not sure if that's correct at all. So you've got your cold inlet, only two switches, I guess um, pre-wash and normal. You've got PCB on the front and another PCB in here. Pressure switch, voltage suppressor, noise suppressor. It has some other bits and bobs like this kind of pressure relief hose that goes back here to the soap drawer on this outlet because the outlet you just push the hose onto the machine rather than the hose coming from the machine. It has a concrete ring on the back for ballast. It seems to have a plastic pulley down there, and it has this um, plastic ring on the front, which I'm guessing is plastic filled with some kind of concrete slurry, the same as like uh, those weightlifting weights, the cheap ones. Okay, so there's a name on it, Carburan, on the tub. So it's a tub that you can open again, so you could do the bearings and whatnot on it, the way we like it. It's got another pressure switch over here. I wonder what that's about. I don't know. It look actually it might not be a pressure switch. It just looks like one to me. It's got different colored cables coming in, but it does have a little 
pressure hose following the other pressure hose. So, yeah, I don't know. It's got a solid bottom. The back comes off, I believe. But uh, I don't get to see the motor unless I take that off. And what do we need? Some torque screws. So let's let's get that back off. There's that little plug there on the inside of the door on the door that top of the door rubber. That's um, it would have a recirc if there was a recirculation pump to put a, a jet down the front. Um, a feature I've seen on I think LG and Zanussi. Then that plug would have a hose going to it from the pump down below. So I have the screws taken off. There was about ten of them, and then rotates like that and then you've got the motor down here central at the bottom you've got a little cover on the element and temperature sensor it looks like you've got another temperature sensor or perhaps the only one up here it does remind me of a Zanussi a lot in here looking at this Carburan again is written over there so I'm wondering if there's a European Zanussi variant it looks to have been left for a long time there's a rust mark there just where I've moved that off as if it hadn't been moved in a long time Bearings feel okay on the back. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look at this on the internet and see what it is. See what make it is. It says cold on the back rather than calt. So I'm guessing it's a multi-use machine or a multi-destination um, machine. It has a bit of a steel pan for something like an aqua stop switch, but it doesn't, it's obviously not there. It looks to have leaked something at some stage. And there's the pump at the bottom. Right in there at the front with a big old flexi hose going down to it Ooh, and it feels like it's got a lot of water in it so I'll get that soap drawer open and I'll put that in another video yeah I've had a look and uh, it seems to be part of the Electrolux Anusi family of machines and that goes in with the Tricity Bendix as well so I'm guessing my suspicions were correct and I've come to the sad state of uh, knowledge that I can recognize a washing machine from what's inside it even though the fascia panel is completely different I'm guessing it might be it might be similar in some respects it has features that I haven't seen before, like that little light on the window and the door lock. Um, yeah, there you go. If you know anything more about these Privileg machines or anything about them, if they were like the cheaper version of a Zanussi or a better or worse or whatever, just let me know about it in the comments because I'd be interested to know. Other than that, I'll put up a video of this separately, this lint filter, and uh, maybe I'll destroy it with a brick. And on that subject, the reason I'm going to do that is because this machine is not worth saving. Regardless of whether or not it works, nobody wants it. Nobody wants these machines with the yellowing plastic and all this, you know, crummy look about them and the bits on the top missing and whatnot. They're only really fit for scrap, you know? People can get a new machine for half nothing, or they can get credit and get it for even less in the short term. Way more in the long term, of course, with credit and whatnot. But yeah, there you go. Privilege 5140. Thanks for watching. See you later.